Now, right. we're going to discuss Bernard Tomic because this was one of the tamer dismissals uh, of Wimbledon so far as he went out in straight sets to Misha Zverev. And this is what he said in the press conference afterwards. <laughs> It's tough to find motivation, um, you know, being out there playing, you know, I think this is my eighth Wimbledon already and I'm 24 years old and still very young on tour and I just feel, uh, you know, a little bit uh, on board out there and, uh, you know, I've just got to find a sort of way to get back and, uh, you know, enjoy tennis again. And, um, you know, people think it's a amazing life, you know, we are making millions of dollars and, uh, you know, it's sometimes tough mentally to compete and put yourself out there day in, day out. And I'm not the best character to do that. So he's had enough already. No well, motivation. Well, I think one of the, the worst one of the worst issues there is he took medical time out and just blatantly said, "Yeah, because I wasn't injured. I just did it because I wanted to break up the time." So you know, he took. I wonder if he's going to get a, a big big fine for that. I mean, he's just admitted. I, I don't know where Bernie's at. I understand it's it's it can be tough out there. He's he's one of the most decorated it, juniors there was. But what has been, he done as a as a pro? I, well, I, I don't even know here. what the result... Oh, wow, finals, great. Yeah. yeah, I mean... Yeah, and oh, he was only 18 when he did it. It was in 2011. I think he was the youngest since okay. Boris Becker to get that yeah. far. Okay, uh, Rene... now I can quit. Yeah, I yeah exactly. Um, yeah. You need to work, Rene work in a factory has... for a while. You need to go and work in a factory yeah. and, and do some labour and, and see what it's like to, to really work out there, you know, and, and, and fight your way through. Or somebody take his money away and say, OK, there you go. I mean, he's too rich too early. It's quite as simple as that. Yeah. It's not, it's not as simple as that, but there's, there's a lot of complex issues going on with him. But I think that is one of a, a big, big issue. And Rene Stubbs said um, that what he said in the press conference was an absolute disgrace. She said not to, only to tennis, but to Australian tennis. You know, it, I, I don't want to stick the boot in, but yeah, that wasn't good. It wasn't a great day. It wasn't a great day. But I don't think I don't think Bernie, by a long shot, represents everybody Australian players. Of course not. I think he's, he's not. going to do a lot worse than than that to, to put out to ruin out the image that we've we've created. But I, but it is. I've heard a lot of a lot of ex players are cringing, ex Aussies, who've, who've, especially what? the guys that started the, the this pro circuit. We wouldn't be here without these guys. You know, you know? internationally out of it, it's disrespectful to the sport, mm. disrespectful to the history of the sport. If you can't get motivated at one button, it's time to find another job. And most of all, again, the spectators, they paid good money. These people that, you know, probably work in a factory, they spend their good money to come here and watch Wimbledon. And then they show, and the guy shows up and doesn't really show up, doesn't try. He can be bothered. Just stay home. Yeah. Just take, take time off. And, and maybe, as he said, I don't have to work the rest of my life. So maybe he shouldn't. Well, on a more